Hi guys, so it looks like China's feeling the heat, so much so they have put out another propaganda video, but this time directly attacking Dr. Gyalo and the Tibet Action Institute report on colonial boarding schools. Um, and not surprisingly though, they keep missing the point. I mean, they keep failing. Um, and so I thought, let's just take a look at one of the areas where they keep failing. Take a look. To find the facts, we decided to visit boarding schools in the region. One of the key claims in Western media is that the students are required to abandon their Tibetan culture traditions and are compelled to learn Mandarin at school. We have come to this boarding school and we can check the curriculum here. And not only they learn Mandarin, they also learn the Tibetan. And we can see every day they got Tibetan classes. And it's actually more than the number of the Putonghua classes. So what she is highlighting here is that there are 10 Tibetan language classes in the schedule. And what I can see is that there are nine Chinese or Mandarin classes in the schedule. So she's right, there is one more Tibetan class than Chinese language class. And that may be the case for this school. But what she's failed to mention is that the rest of the subjects like maths and science, etc., are all taught in Chinese language, in Mandarin. So she's proven nothing here except our point that there is no bilingual education in these colonial boarding schools. The mother tongue of these Tibetan children is Tibetan language, and that is the language that should be taught in these schools. But the truth is the vast majority of their lives are spent in these schools, and the vast majority of their education is taught in Mandarin, in Chinese, in a foreign language, in occupied Tibet. And that is our argument.